back to my channel as you can see from the title today's video is going to be a meet my morky video if you're new here my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave so i get a lot of questions daily about prince if it's my vlogs my hair videos anything he is literally in almost all my videos so i get a lot of questions about him you guys want to know so much about him so instead of just commenting back to every single question i decided to put everything into a video so i'm just going to start off from the beginning um, he is a Morky. If you don't know what a Morky is, it is a Maltese and a Yorkie mix. To me, I feel like he takes more after the Maltese side because Yorkies usually have to have, they usually have like a longer face with their nose and facial structures and a Maltese usually have a more rounder, rounder circular face. So I feel like he takes after a Maltese a lot more. And he was born December 21st, 2008. Um, me and my best friend actually picked up him and his brother. They were in the same litter. We picked them up February, like a little bit, like around Valentine's Day of 2019. So I've had him ever since February 2019, my little baby. And I think that's pretty much. So yeah, I'm just going to dive into these questions. I put on my community tab, ask me any questions you kind of want to know about Prince. Um, I am going to go straight into potty training first because that has been the most asked question. All my dogs I've had, literally, I guess I just got lucky with training them. I've had a mini chihuahua. I'll insert that. I've had a Havanese. I'll insert him. Their name was Kobe Max. And Kobe, he didn't use it outside. He literally was house trained and he was literally this big. So all he needed to do was just pee on the pad and he had like one little circle of pee and then like I'll change it after he peed like two or three times um with the prince he actually automatically knew how to pee on the pad um of course we had so so many accidents um I literally bought a puppy gate this time shouldn't have done that I recommend buying a cage um I like to cage train not a crate like crates are smaller than a cage so I bought him a I bought my other dogs a cage and I started out like that. With him, I wanted to give him a little bit more space. I'll put in the picture and the video everything I'm talking about. So with the gate, I put his food, water, toys, puppy pad, and bed. He did good maybe for about a month. After about a month and a half, I will come home and he will have the puppy pads completely tore up. Like completely tore up. So I did that for about a week, just cleaning it up and replacing the puppy pad. After that, I'm like, all right, bro, like, what, what's up? What's really up? So I started to just take him outside, and literally it was like he told me he was ready. But as a puppy, I did feed him three times a day, morning, afternoon, and evening. And after he ate, I believe I took him out maybe about 30 minutes to an hour after. Um, every dog is different. Every dog is completely different. So with him, if he didn't pee outside within that, you know, 30 minutes to an hour, I would just wait another 30 minutes and take him outside. I recommend having that one word so he knows that he's about to go outside and use it. So in his case, it's the P-O-T-T-Y word. That is the word that gets him going and going crazy. So on the community, community tab, one girl asked me what words, said, what words slash phrases make him get excited. Potty? Got a potty? You got a potty? <laughs> you got a potty? Huh? You got a potty? <laughs> so that word gets him crazy. Like he know what that means. He know I'm about to go grab that harness and that leash and we about to go to the dog, baby. So yeah, that's pretty much what potty training. Um, I know a lot of people like to use the little spray to get on there. I didn't use that until he was like this age. And I used that because I wanted to try to train him in the house. He wasn't going. I tried the fake grass. Girl, he didn't even want to touch it. Like he was like, what is this? So I had to put him on it and he just stepped off of it. So with him, he didn't like the fake grass. He basically told me he was potty trained by tearing up the puppy pads and everything like that. So let's get into the questions. Um, Cameron said, what's his favorite treat? 
he eats everything there hasn't been one treat that he literally just did not eat anything i buy him he eats he loves bacon flavor i feel like the most because once i throw that down he literally immediately goes and gets it the position that he sleeps in he sleeps on his belly on his side he sleeps every kind of way i put in pictures and videos of that she also said does he like walks yes he literally will go sniff the door or literally just stand by the door sometimes he'll cry just to go outside he loves being outside and she also said if so does he have a best friend his best friend was my best friend's dog she sold him actually but his name was simon that's literally i guess you can say his brother they were in the same you know litter so i guess that's how you say it but yeah um he literally played with him 24 7 um, I moved out here. There's been a few dogs. Every single dog Prince sees he's going to run up to. He's just that, you know, friendly, which is a good and bad thing because he can literally run up to a stranger and somebody can steal my dog. <laughs> but she also said, will you be getting another dog anytime soon? I don't think soon, but I definitely do want another dog. The dog I want is either a Shih Tzu or another Havanese because they get a pretty decent size like they get bigger than Prince and that's what I want he is like dead ass all in my mouth <laughs> and I just told y'all the words that gets him excited and she also said what tricks does he know or phrases that he listens to my best friend Nikki literally always says he's a human because he knows exactly what I'm saying like exactly what I'm saying so he knows how to sit lay down stand up and come we're working on stay if I'm outside walking him and let's say I go, he's trying to go to the left and I turn to the right, I say, come on, we're going this way or come on this way. And he literally turn around and he come back my way. So he knows exactly what I be saying. And Queen said how to train as far as obedience because I'm struggling. Literally repetition. You're going to have to say and do the same things every single day or every other day. Like with training him how to do sit and all of that like sometimes i just do it you know a few times a week but definitely start as a puppy don't let them do things just because you think it's cute like if he if the puppy chewing on a um shoestring you're like oh look at him no you need to tell him you know stop don't do that or whatever word you want to use so he can know not to do that like don't be like oh that's cute and then try to discipline your dog like you're gonna have to discipline your dog for sure and someone else said, how do you train to use puppy pads or go outside? I got rid of two because of that. I kind of already explained that. Um, just make sure they know where the puppy pads are. Don't give them too much space as a puppy because that allows them to, I mean, uh, uh, let, let them, let them, you know, explore and discover, but don't let them out of your sight. And I usually kept him right beside a pee pad. Like I kept him in the corner. He can run, walk around do what he got to do and then he back over there in that corner after he peed or pooped then i will let him play a little bit longer but definitely try to keep your dog by a puppy pad someone said how old is he already answered that and someone else said is prince a cuddling puppy does he like to be a big dog at heart as you can see he loves to cuddle with his mommy and yes he thinks he's a big dog he likes to try to bark at you sometimes and there's like a great day to live out here pits and all kind of dogs and he literally run up to all of them like he's a big dog too so that's pretty much my video um mostly everybody wanted to know about the potty training it's just a repeating cycle like i said just keep repeating everything day by day and discipline your dog when you need to praise him when you need to i literally praised prince so much and gave him so many treats for every good thing that he did so i feel like that's why he's such a good dog and why he listens and literally knows everything now so yeah that's pretty much a video if you have any more questions down below i will be happy to answer them i think i'm going to do a, um, my puppy favorites or you know puppy must must haves or something like that but yeah if you have a question Feel free to leave it down below. I'll answer it. And until my next video, I will see you guys then. I'm going to say bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, people. He's looking like, nigga. <laughs>